Hey everybody, I just wanted to uh, make you aware, I've got some consulting and I'm going to be in the back country and if you're not familiar with Wyoming, we have places where there isn't any cell coverage and there's no Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. The consulting I'm doing, if anybody's interested, is I get to guide some fantastic people uh, in the pursuit of elk. And uh, that's what I did for over 30 years as a professional outfitter. And now I'm just the guide. And so that puts me out of touch. Doesn't mean I don't care about you. Just that I uh, have a difficult time getting back to you um, when I do get out. And sometimes when I'm on the top of the hill and I just happen to have cell service, I can take a look and see what my email and my uh uh, my texts are looking like and, and that sort of thing. And I'm using that right now more of as a gauge. I've had some fantastic questions. Some of you have actually sent me your budgets for this week. And uh, so um, I think I, I, what I'd like to do is just put together a, a little um, explanation of this budget. And I, I want to kind of start by saying that I come at this, not everybody does, by the way, uh, with a biblical world view about finance. And uh, so just so that you're aware of that, um, I don't think that you should have difficulty with that. I, you know, I, I've taught a lot of believers, a lot of uh, people that aren't sure and, uh, and some that weren't believers. And, uh, you know, my, my, uh, background is that, um, that we just try to love everybody. And, uh, um, I'm going to do it in an imperfect way because that's what we are as individually as humans. And, but anyway, if we can, and, and it's really important on the financial side. You know, biblically, finances were very, very important. It's mentioned in the Old and New Testament many, many times how we treat and uh, um, how we treat our finances. And so, you know, I'm not an artist. Um, very, I'm not really that creative. I can learn things, though. And uh, the, the, the Lord has given me a gift to understand some of these things and and maybe um, to transfer and, and, and teach some of these things so that other pe people can see some clarity in those things. And, and one of the underlying basis for it is, is that uh, we're to serve others. And we're also put here on this uh, planet with purpose. And, uh, and that is to, to treat all resources well and uh, um, not covet them by any means. And um, I always, I've said this probably in a couple of videos that you might remember is that uh, this is your money. This is your budget. But the overarching th theme of my beliefs is that it's actually his money. He allows me in the short period I call life to uh, manage his money. So I want to do the best job for him that I can in, in an imperfect way. And, uh, and maybe I can help a few other people, um, whether they're believers or not, actually treat their money as something, as just, it's another tool and a resource that we, we need and we, we have to uh, uh, manage well. And uh, so um, anyway, that, that's maybe a long, lengthy explanation for all that, but that's kind of a few thoughts on my end. Let's dive right into this, this budget right here. And again, it's your money. And, uh, um, so I'm not going to be, um, you know, going, taking points off or this and that. And you had too much in groceries, blah, blah, blah. That's for you to come up with is it, like, Oh, maybe I could spend a little bit less in groceries. Or maybe I'm being too much of a miser with any one of these categories. I mean, it goes both ways. So let's, let's dive into this and, and let me just kind of look at this. It, this is the same budget that we did last week, except I've just expanded it. 
Now, if you're more comfortable actually simplifying this thing, go for it. One of the things that I want to impress upon you is as human beings, we get so many things going that it's important for us to use the most simple approach to a lot of what we do so that we can do it well. And probably the number one reason is that we actually do it. Most people don't do a budget. Most successful people do a budget. So therefore, my deduction says that Hmm. I I study. I, one of the things that I've tried to do throughout my life is study success. And if somebody else is finding success in an area and they're doing something different than me, maybe I can adapt and I can pull that into my life. And a budget is one of those things for most people that they ha they, they don't have a level of comfort. But and the way that you get a level of comfort is starting out real simple. And so here's what I want you to do with this budget. And it's your budget. It's your money. Okay. So for September, and I've, I've got these, I've got, got some uh, different spreadsheets through, you know, what I've shared with you. And if it says something, some other month, all you have to do is change that. I can go up here and change the name of it, rename it. Okay. Um, I, I use this over several semesters. Um, so um, change it. It's your budget, okay? I want to impress that upon you. I'm not being hard on anybody. And if you make a mistake there, I mean, it's your budget, okay? <laughs> I've said that too many times. I apologize, okay? So, I mean, so we've got, you know, with, with this class, we're going to be, I want to just check in, take a look at, and see how you're doing on your budget. Some of you are going to go, wow, I didn't realize, you know, that this thing was so powerful. Some of you are going to say, hmm, I don't know about this. And so, some, I know there's always a few that say, oh, crime is making me do a budget. It's a dirty word. It's not a four-letter word, by the way. Budget is not a four-letter word. And uh, when you have limited resources, it's just some some way of actually prioritizing what those dollars that you have coming in. And that's all it is. And, and the, the simpler you can make it, the better off you are. Okay. So let's start with September. Okay. So September, it's over with. So we don't, I mean, if we didn't do a budget in September, before September happened, we didn't give a, a name to every dollar then what we have is what we spent. So for September, I want you to put everything in here that you did in September with your money. Okay? I mean, so you're just going to enter in the spent amount. Okay? And I know it's got budgeted there, but you don't have any. I mean, after it's over with, spent equals budgeted in that case, if you haven't done a budget. Okay, so don't worry about that too much. If you want to change the name of any one of these things, you want to change the headings, you go for it. If you've got something going on uh, in your life that's different than this, this budget, don't be confined by it. And don't be confused. I mean, use it. Uh, if uh, We can change it later, too, to reflect your true what's going on in, in your finances. Okay, so those, these are just uh, examples of what, uh, you know, some people might have for expenses and that, that sort of thing. So September is going to be really easy because you're just going to take, take your statement for September and you're going to put in how much you brought in your take home pay. Okay, so you, all of those, you guys in agriculture, guys and gals, I mean that in, in totality. Okay, but um you you just what did you have come into your checkbook put that right here okay all right so and then you're going to fill in this spent okay if you filled in the budgeted side no big deal it's your budget okay all right don't get hung up on this stuff 
Uh, that's, I tell my wife, I say, well, don't get upset, and that makes her more upset. So I'm not trying to get you upset by any means. That's meant as a joke, by the way. Okay? But although she does get kind of upset when I say those things. So I don't say those things as much as I used to. But every once in a while it slips out. So for September, you're just going to do that. And I know this may go a little bit counter to what the explanation in the assignment is. But this is what I want you to do if you're actually going to use this budget. All right. Now we're a little bit into October right now. So, I mean, best case scenario, we would have actually put some numbers down as budgeted for the October. We would have budgeted what we planned on having for take home pay. Okay. So here's the thing. If, if you have a regular job and you know how many hours you're going to perform over the month and that sort of thing, it's a, just a mathematical equation that you can actually come up with to budget for the amount of take home pay. And then if you have other things, livestock sales and uh, uh, fruit and vegetables and, and other things that you're selling or added income from another business or anything like that, then you're going to have to, you might call it, take your best guess. And that's, you know, difficult at first. And, you know, you're going to miss the mark. But this is the thing. Practice makes you better. And when you start thinking about it, you'll get better at it. I guarantee it, if you, even if you don't believe me right now. It's a skill that we're actually trying to hone here. Okay? So, uh, let me see if I got it. I don't have my picture here. I want to drag that over here a little bit. Okay. There. It's not perfect. So, for October, this is the October spreadsheet. We're going to actually fill in how much income we plan on having come in. And if for, for those things that you, you know, are the, the, the part you have to guess for income, be conservative is what I would advise. I mean, unless you know. I mean, if you have a contract that says, you know, October by October 31st, this will be paid if you perform these services or uh, you have a, 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 a forward contract on some livestock or you pre-sold some things and you know you can count on those kinds of things, then you can kind of plan for that and, and input it into that monthly take home. And then you're going to take and fill out the budgeted item. Okay, how are you going to put a name to each dollar? All through here. And then all it's going to do, once you get down here, hopefully nobody has, you know, has to put a number in each one of these debts. But everybody's in a place. And I, you know, I speak from, you know, having had a lot of experience with debt. And, uh, um, Everybody's in a place at one point in their life. And then it's going to come up with, in this case, for the October part, it's going to take all of your expenditures that are budgeted. It's going to take your income to minus your expenditures and give you a surplus or deficit. And what we want to do with a zero-sum budget is force this to zero. Okay? Now, we can... Since it's a budget, it hasn't happened yet. Then we can we can tweak it. We can, what I call, massage the budget. Um, at this point, we're saying, oh, geez, you know, just think if, if the surplus or deficit is, we have $200 surplus here, and we're going, oh, no. We, this is supposed to be a zero-sum budget. Um, don't say, oh, no. Just come up here and say, well, you know, I was kind of, I think we're probably going to need a little more food. We're going to have some relatives over. They're going to spend Halloween, um, you know, especially when you get into Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. Um, you know, you, you, if you have a, a, a an accurate budget, you need to kind of think ahead of time, ahead of those kinds of situations. You know, you might add a little bit to your food budget if you're going to have people over. Um, and, and, or, you know, you say, well, I, you know, I 
that's what I spend. That's I don't, I don't plan on spending any more. Um, then that's where you come up here and say, well, I'm going to give a little more. I'm going to put a little more, uh, give a little more to the church, or maybe you have a special cause um, that that you're really passionate about. Um, you put it in these categories, or you say, well, I haven't, I don't have a thousand dollars in my emergency fund, so I'm going to put all that two hundred dollars in that budgeted to go to my emergency fund okay so that it's budgeted or it goes into you know if you're a little older like i am you know it goes into your retirement fund or your college fund for the next few years for a lot of you maybe it goes to your vacation you're going to padre island i don't know you can do that this is your budget okay um and I know a lot of, uh, many of you, you know, you're younger. That's just a fact. And you're, it's going to be, you're, you're going to go, well, there's not much in there. And it's like, I know, but your life is pretty simple financially. And that's a blessing right now if you start budgeting now. Because as you get a little bit older and you start a family, you, you buy a house or you buy a ranch or a farm, you know, things are going to get a little more complex. And adding those things along. As you go, it's going to be a lot easier for you if you stick to, you know, putting this budget together. If you find anything, th this is just, this is how my brain works as far as the budget goes. And actually, it's Dave Ramsey's, those, those sheets that are in your book. I just put it on a spreadsheet. I mean, I've been working with spreadsheets since the mid-80s. And so, you know, my first thing was, well, I can just put that on a spreadsheet. If, uh, if uh, it's easier for you to, to take a pencil and have an eraser and, and be able to manipulate these numbers, then do it and transfer the numbers. Probably in this case, it'd be the easiest for me to read from this side of the thing. But make it, make it yours. I mean, don't make any of these things be roadblocks, whether it's, you know, using Google Docs or Google Spreadsheets and you use Excel. Um, you know, uh, you can build an Excel. You could actually copy this right to an Excel spreadsheet and use it. Or you could build your own that's very similar to it. Don't let those things be hindrances to you. But uh, it's, it's just a template. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully I haven't confused you too much, some of you. Um, and and I my my hope and my prayer is that I've had many of you, and I know this is the case with a lot of you, is that it's like, boy, we never budgeted. Never thought about that. I, I need to budget. And uh, so hopefully it will be a blessing for you more than anything. All right? So I hope that helps. And... Uh, Keep emailing me. Um, I know I'm going to be out of contact for the next couple of weeks, really. But it doesn't mean that I'm not checking those things. I just, sometimes I, I can't get right back to you. Um, and I hope this really helps you. Okay? All right. Take care.